So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Dense Duke is my name. If you're new here, please make a point to subscribe because we have a lot in store coming up just for you. Uh, but today we're going to talk about Farida Nakazibwe, uh, one of Uganda's finest news anchors in the country. Well, we're going to also talk about her life, uh, you know, way back, education, uh, the family and everything that you need to know about Farida Nakazibwe. So, we're going to be subscribing to our channel. Uh, we never support the Jack Sula Oko or Uganda or Tono Tono, Nayenga, uh, Vina Singa, Bijakuva Murimi or Zungu, or Rokuvanti, Notizanga, Wentio, Buenas Cose, Kakati. We shall start from where she started. Well, Farida Nakazibwe is uh, one of the finest news anchors in the country, uh, working with NTV Uganda. And uh, Aba Murirani, those close to her, describe the 36 year old or 35, well, Bobongo Vazem Burunjao, uh, year old as hardworking and down to earth lady. Now, Farida Nakazibwe was also born on August 18th, 1984, to the late Haji Shakib Senyonjo and Hajat Sara Senyonjo in Masaka district. Uh, present day Zimbabwe district Jukira baji chusa uh, Ngabama zo jisala salamu district Sinyinji kati ye Zimbabwe Present day Zimbabwe district Idanga kati yu Farida Nakazwe Muna eji nyumiriza Farida Nakazwe is the second born In a family of seven And the first girl in the family Ye muwala asose Ni wankuba denti e asoka Ni wankuba denti she's a second born Yes now, Farida Nakazwe, growing up in Sembavule, uh, in her early school times, attended Chisozi Boarding Primary School in Chisozi Gomba District, and then Buyava Onagenda Kuwala Primary School in Masaka Town, where she obtained her primary leaving certificate. After her primary school, she joined Taiba High School in Kawempe Tula, a city neighborhood, uh, where she obtained her high school certificate. Boyavaku Taiba High School, Nakaziwe joined Islamic University in Uganda, IUIU, Irange no main campus, Esangi Wambale, Eastern Uganda, for her higher education, uh, where she graduated, of course, with, with bachelor or a bachelor's degree in mass communication over Evia Maudide. Yes, journalism and mass communication, BFM. <laughs> <laughs> so growing up as a young girl in Zimbabwe, Nakazwe says her early life rotated around school and home and being the second born and first girl in the family of seven, her parents, Bazad Debe, were very protective of her and her siblings. Even at university, Farida Nakazibwa Bazad Debe would check on her always. But when her father died while she was still at university, uh, the strictness and protectiveness, of course, ended. But before 2006, TV presentation uh, wasn't Nakazibwe's thought career. Yari tabidoza akonti ruluwa uro akoleku TV. At first, her parents thought she would be a fashion artist or anything rotating or relating to that. Kubanga, yari ayagala nyo clothes, good clothes and beautifying her body. But destiny landed her into journalism. After university, Farida Nakazwe started working as a waitress for a period of one month and uh, later joined WBS TV in 2006, which no longer, of course, exists. China Jukirwa, and WBS TV, Kati Ye Kwese TV, Vajigulao Nae, Chategere Kesekonti, Genda Komao, Newankobade, Tebin Nakakasivo, Vatin Nakomao. So, 
bwatyo we are joining mu 12 mukaga while at WBS she focused on news reporting for a period of 2 years and when NTV launched its operation in Uganda Nakazwe ya applying as a news reporter and editor but during her interview sessions the panel of interviewers asked her to read a written document and she emerged the best of all she was then recruited as a news anchor at NTV and her contract was signed in September 2006 now December 2006 Nakazwe started working at NTV Uganda mpaka kati yes yatandi kokola mu 12 mukaga waliku NTV na guno gwaka wacha akola yes she now hosts mwasuze mtia program both on NTV and Spark TV erange no program ya drafting uh, ne chitwa ya dala 3 good years to convince management to initiate it in most of our interviews Faida Nakazi wagamba that working at NTV has helped her to grow, learn and make self discoveries that would be hard to prove to the world that she can actually perform. Nakaziwe also reveals that she loves slow music by the, uh, by the likes of of course Celine Dion, uh, Celine Dion, Maria Carey and Brandis. She also loves Irene Nambiru, Juliana and uh, Rema Namakula. Mubula Mubwe in real life Nakaziwe is soft spoken she is humble she is kind and beautiful as of course she appears on tv she is a businesswoman currently uh, dealing in fragrances called farida body mist eranga zino fragrance over zino perfume yazi unveiling the project sometime back on her social media platforms eranga she said uh, that she came up with her own body mist products and they are now on sale now nakazwe she has two beautiful daughters with her ex-boyfriend ingnia dan nankunda whom she met at the defunct wbs tv she is currently married to omar sali the television sensational news anchor hooked sali after a bitter split with aging nrm vice chairman alhaji moses chigongo her sense of style E is one of the most captivating things her legion of admirers definitely sees. Fire bang. Farida Nakazipe is a decent in a sexy way with her trademark body hugging dresses that brings out her calves. Now, Agamba Farida Nakazipe nti one of her role models abamsikirizo kubanti na yata ndiko kubanga asoma maulide. Uh, she used to look up to those of uh, you know Bale Francis, Lucy Banya and Toya Kilama were her favorites edanga back then bali bakola ku UTV which is uh, currently now UBC she admired the way they spoke and the authority they commanded but also growing up in Masaka district she admits to never having much access to international TV or television stations lately on the international scene she looks up to Al Jazeera's Veronica Pedrosa in Uganda she looks up to her colleagues Frank Walusimbi who currently works at NTV Uganda and Nancy Kachungira who formerly worked at NTV but now she's with BBC a World Service. You'll agree with me that Farida Nakazwe is one of the most successful TV personalities in Uganda and this is in relation to her work style. She has emerged to remain on top of the game for over 10 good years now when we talk about 10 good years you definitely know what i'm meaning for for the, for, for those of us who've been in the media 10 good years and she's been there for over 10 good years those are quite a handful of years now farida nakazwe is rated among the best luganda news anchors in the country in her soft spoken and kind voice yet so perfect era 
Farida Nakazve is one of the most influential women among media personalities in Uganda and a motivator and a role model to very many young and teenage mothers, perhaps girls in the country. And that perhaps winds up my session for the profile biography of Farida Nakazwe. My name is Dennis Duku Onyala. As usual, if you have any business that you'd love to advertise with me, please make it a point to contact me on 0700675952 and I'll definitely respond and we do business. But for now, that's the smallest or the littlest thing I could do about Farida Nakazwe. She's a very inspiring woman. Uh, very many young girls look up to her. She is very decent in her style. I think Farida Nakazwe wins it for me. And I could not hold back, but rather to do something like this to enlighten more people about her. For those of you who've not looked out for her, uh, you know, to get to know where exactly she comes from. I hope this biography, this simple uh, story will definitely give you a feel of who exactly Farida Nakazwe is. But until then, it's a goodbye. Keep subscribing, keep sharing, keep liking, commenting. What do you say about Farida Nakazwe? How do you find her? Does she inspire you? What do you like about Farid and Akazwe? Go into the comment section and of course leave for me a comment or two. I'll definitely respond to those. But until then, it's a goodbye from me. Have yourselves a lovely time. <laughs> Why <laughs> <laughs>